<laughs> All right, this is a professional grade hot knife, and this is a plunge blade. Now this plunge blade, we're gonna set for the proper depth so we can push it in, uh, cut out the foam. So. Basically, that's it. You just loosen these knurls and then drop it. Then you're able to go do a plunge step. Now this is a measuring stick for where we put the electrical boxes because the electrical box we want it the same height. Now I'm taking this all the way up to the very top where the electrical raceway is going to be before I pull it out. So now we have plenty of access to both electrical raceways. Now once the, once the hot knife gets hot, of course will work a lot faster. It'll start to plunge in and really cook. So once you get started, it's best to run all your cuts all at once. And that's what we're doing here. Are you going to be able to get that other angle? Again, save the foam because those chunks can be put back in once the wire is pulled. But that's all there is. So now what we're doing is we're pulling the wire. We're actually going to push it through, going, stitching the, the wall together from this end all the way to the very end. So it has the wire on a spool. You want to keep it nice and flat and flush. You may have to help it as it jumps over here, but the, the channel's run pretty true and clean. And now when we get to this pipe, we're running it behind just because it fits. And then we have our socket right there. There you go ahead, go ahead. And now let's do this one. And it went right through, but we picked an obstruction. So on this obstruction, what we're going to have to do, pull that out a little bit in, pull the wire out, and we're going to cut along the electrical raceway and take this chunk out and see what's blocking it. All right, what we have here is right at the intersection of this panel and this panel, we have a chunk of glue that has oozed up and is obstructing this area. pretty significant piece of glue that's going through there. All right, Ed, let's keep pushing that wire on through. Okay, we're good. Back her up a little bit. Okay, let me take this box out. 
Screw it to me. Yeah. All right, so we're going to give ourselves plenty of extra wire right here. And I'll fold that over so we don't pull it back. Now, Ed, feed me some more wire. Okay, that should be enough wire for that box. Is that enough, Ed? Let's get a little bit more. It doesn't hurt to have too much. It's kind of bad when it's not enough. electrical boxes it's a triple box and we're going to run the wire from that box up there to the ceiling fan so this is a pretty complex cut So now we have access going this way and that way, and we'll cut out for the ceiling uh, fan. All right, so we're putting the wire in there. This is actually running behind that other box, so we can totally skip that one, and then you can see it will just go down to there, and, and now we're going to take and just bend this back, and then we want to flatten out this section so it goes right up against the beam, or better yet, we can just tuck it right underneath the beam, so it's completely back. The code required each and a quarter. And there you go. In place. I have one more outlet to go to get. We can get another change of direction here. Into the, into the fan box. I'm going to pull this box down that's not mounted in there yet. And then again, just a change in direction. And we push the push the through there, and then a ninth degree, and if you bend it tight, you can actually put this piece that came in here back in there because it has the raceways already, the wire fits right into the raceways here. Yeah. 